guys, welcome back to another lip balm review. So we're doing the third one of these Blistex lip infusions, and this one is the one in Soothe. So this is Cucumber and Calendula to comfort irritated lips, and that has the same natural beeswax and candle lila to moisturize and comfort. Hence why it's the comforting one. So that's cool. I'm wondering if it's going to smell like cucumbers. That'd be kind of cool. Blistex Lip Infusions provide outstanding moisturization plus a special twist for your specific needs. It's great lip care for, or <laughs> it's great lip care you expect from Blistex with an infusion of added extras for unparalleled benefits and experiences. Calming formula to soothe lips. Lip Infusions Soothe adds cucumber oil and calendula extract to a richly moisturizing blend. Cucumber delivers antioxidants and vitamin C and soothing calendula helps comfort dry, irritated lips smooth finish. Lip Infusions is packed with coconut oil, candelilla, and beeswax. The blend helps restore lips moisture and leaves them soft and smooth. Our ingredients are hydrogenated coconut oil, aquildodecanol, uh, candelilla wax, flavor, beeswax, phenyl trimethicone, caprylic slash capric triglyceride, bisdiglycerol, polyacylatopate 2, cucumber seed oil, dimethicone, Mirastril, Miristate, C10-30, cholesterol-slash-linosterol esters, jojoba esters, tocopherol acetate, alumina, arachidyl alcohol, arachidyl glucoside, behanil alcohol, uh, calendula extract, carnauba wax, phenoxyethanol, polyhydroxystyric acid, saccharin stearic acid, and titanium dioxide. So... While it does have some natural ingredients there, we cannot say that this one is organic. <laughs> Fairly safe to say this is, at the very least, a hybrid, but possibly synthetic. So, for whatever that may be worth to you. Um, so there is that. Oops, I dropped it. Wouldn't be a review of mine without dropping it, would it? So... Format-wise, it is a stick, as we can see. Okay, there we go. Ba-boom. Alrighty, I love that shade of green, by the way. So, just like the other two. Rolls up, super easy. It does have that little safety bump in there. It's not a super great safety lock, but it's better than nothing. But, yeah, it rolls up super Super quick with like little to no effort. Ooh, it does smell like uh, cucumber. A little bit like cucumber melon, actually. That smells really good. I think out of these three, I like the scent of this one the best. So price on this was very reasonable. It was only like a few bucks. Size wise, it's 0.13 ounces, so a hair less than the standard stick amount, but that's okay. Um, nice hard cap. It does have the divot in the top like a Nivea. The cap comes off awfully easy. I don't know about that, guys. Between that and that little bump not holding it great, that's probably going to be a point against it, sadly. Uh, it's not limited edition as far as I know. Um, it's not medicated. No SPF. No special features, really. So We already talked about the scent. That does smell scrumptious. I hope it tastes like that. Hmm. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? It's very similar to the Burt's Bees Cucumber Mint. That's gotta be why I like it. Obviously it doesn't have the mint half in there, but it's definitely the cucumber half. Ooh. Okay. Out of the three, I can already tell you, this one I think is my favorite. Like, all around, not only the scent, but the way it feels like this. This is the guy. If you're only going to buy one of them, this is the guy. Just saying. I would say the thickness on this, possibly a medium, actually. That's surprising. I don't feel any chaps through it, which is incredible because I know that my lips are fucked right now. <laughs> so I'm like, ooh, ooh, that really works. Hello, what, like, what are the other two doing? This, this guy gets it, right? Wow. That's really impressive. It's, like, really creamy. Highly moisturizing feeling. 
It's very slick, not at all sticky, and while it is shiny, it doesn't feel like it's as high gloss as the other two, so if, um, if some guys or somebody who doesn't want a shiny lip wants something, uh, this is, I mean, it's still got some shine to it, but it's less than the other two. So this is more of a satin finish than a glossy finish, just saying. So if you can deal with that level, I think, I think this would be a good option for you out of this line. Just saying. That doesn't have a flavor. A little bit. There's a little bit of a nondescript sweet flavor in there. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see how it does on the drink test, because I think otherwise my only issue here is just like that cap and sh the turn wheel thing. So, so far it's got like a 9. But depending on whether or not it passes the drink test, we'll see if it stays at a 9. And it passed the drink test. Hell yeah. Right on. Okay, this is a 9 out of 10, guys. Highly recommended. Like, honestly, I, I wasn't expecting it to be quite that high. And if you had asked me which of these three I was looking the most forward to, I'm not sure that just looking at the packaging I would have picked this one. But, dude, this one kicks ass. Like, seriously, highly recommend this guy. This is the one. Wow. Wow. I'm kind of shocked that for as similar as they sounded on the packaging, that they're as different across the board as they are. I thought they were basically going to be, like, essentially the same with, like, only the most subtle of differences. I could not have been more wrong on that. But this guy. This right here. This is what you want. You want the Soothe one. You want the green one. Just saying. I know I've been seeing this one a lot of places lately, so it should not be hard for you to find it. Uh, Walgreens always has it. You might have to hunt a little. Uh, they don't necessarily have it in with the usual lip balm section, at least in ours, but they're on the end cap displays. So hunt around a little. They have different sections of them, which also makes it tricky. Uh, again, I'm only speaking for my location, but if your store is laid out anything like ours is, hunt around the store. You very well may find them. They just might be tucked away somewhere a little bit, but they're in there. Um, that's just Walgreens. I have also seen them at Safeway. <laughs> I have also seen them at CVS. So I know a lot of places are selling these lately. I am positive that Target has them. I've seen them on the website. So if you have one of those near you, you can find them there too. I haven't looked on the Walgreens, or I, not Walgreens, Walmart website because I found them so quickly that I didn't need to, but they might be selling them there too. Just saying, just hunt around with this one. This is the guy. That's what you want. So, anyway guys, that's it for this one. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, if you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. You have this one yet? Do you agree that out of the three, this is the one that kicks the most ass? Like, let's talk about it down in the comments as well as anything else that you feel like leaving me. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I'm here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.